Hello, my loves. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Julia and I am a third year medical student. So today I wanted to drop a quick video discussing the transition from the first and second year or the preclinical years of medical school to now being a third year medical student. There are so many differences, one of them being, of course, my time. I did not anticipate being as busy as I am and I'm so sorry that I have not been dropping as much content. I am going to fix that very, very soon. And I'll tell you guys a little bit more about why I'm so busy in a little bit when we get more into the video. So before we jump in, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all of the latest content that I promise will be dropping. So to orient us and give us a little bit of background, medical school is four years total of education. Now, every institution differs in how exactly the four years is split up between classroom or what they call preclinical years and clinical years, which is when you are rotating in the hospital and working and seeing patients. However, standard is typically two years of preclinical years for being in the classroom and learning, and then two years of clinical education, of rotating and seeing all the different types of specialties, working with patients, and really using the knowledge that you learned during the first two years of medical school and enhancing those doctor skills. So for my school, we did two years of preclinical years, and now I am in my third year, or my first year of my clinical years, or clinical rotations. So if you haven't checked out my Rotate With Me vlog series, please do so. I'm going to try to detail my experiences as I'm rotating through all of the different medical specialties this year and seeing all of the different aspects of medicine and the pros and cons of each specialty. So be sure to check that out. Currently, I am on OBGYN and it's actually going really good. So I'll drop an OBGYN vlog uh, soon. So stay tuned for that vlog and guess what? guys I got to deliver my first baby the other night <laughs> she was a lucky baby but anyway so that is why I've been so busy OBGYN if you are not aware is one of the specialties that is known for its terrible hours in lifestyle and that my friends is actually accurate I work about 12 to 14 hour days so it's just terrible for my schedule and for getting things done and so I apologize but trust me I will be back on my game very very soon so back to talking a little bit more about the transition from the preclinical to clinical years if you have followed me or caught on in my videos you might have learned that me personally Personally, I'm just not the type of person that wants to or enjoy studying 12 hours a day or to be one dimensional and be a medical student all the time. And that is a lot of what the first two years of medical school is. It's being in the classroom. It's not really getting to see patients primarily. That's not your focus. Your focus is academics. It's very like confining and I just don't like that. And I struggled through it and that's why I am very adamant about keeping your wellness and your hobbies and your passions outside of medicine very much so a part of your life when you become a medical student because it's not fun you guys medical school is tough it's not enjoyable most times you know so you want to make sure you have things that compensate for the times that you are feeling down and the times that you fail and the times that you need something other than this bubble that is medical school to make you happy and to bring joy to your life but the classroom is what makes up the first two years of medical school predominantly so for me I was ecstatic to be done with that and to now step foot in the hospitals and in the clinics and touch patients and use my stethoscope and just really practice what it's like to be a doctor so while for me it's so much more enjoyable to be working with patients and be in the clinical setting and really feeling like, you know, a student doctor, the transition for some can be very difficult. Because many of us in the STEM fields are type A personalities and we know our stuff, you know, we're an intelligent batch. I think that that transition from the classroom where you are very much so in control of your academics and how much you study 
some of that control is a little bit relinquished in the third year. Of course, what you know is important. You want to show your resident and attending doctors that you are knowledgeable and that you know your stuff. But more so, it's the social aspect and how you interact with not only your peers and your colleagues, but with your patients. And that is a very different dynamic. A patient doesn't always necessarily care about you knowing the ins and outs of their diagnosis or you being able to rattle off the pharmacology of their conditions. So they don't necessarily care about that stuff, you know? So you have to really enhance other aspects of yourself and of your doctoring skills in order to make the same impact on patients that you did maybe in your preclinical years with your academics. In that same realm is medicine is a team sport. So gunners are medical students who are very ambitious, but often their efforts and their pursuits to get ahead and make themselves stand out and to be, you know, academically successful comes at the expense of those on their team, mostly their other medical student peers. So because during the first two years of medical school, it's a very independent type of learning and you're taking your own tests and whatnot, you don't necessarily see the gunners during that time. Whereas during the third year where you are now rotating with your peers and working on medical teams with them, you start to see different behaviors that you may not have noticed during the first two years. And I'm sure it happens in all fields. Maybe it's just different terminology, but it's something to be mindful of. And for me, I am very anti-gunner. I don't think that I need to do things that sabotage my peers in order for me to stand out or get ahead. That's not the type of person I am. But I definitely do take note to those individuals who do do those types of things. And I try to just steer clear of them so that I can't be sabotaged by them. But it's definitely noted, you know, it's noted. And those are people that I am now less inclined to want to work with or to even be colleagues with in the future. So be aware that you are not one of those people, but that you are also keeping an eye on those people so that you are not subject to their sabotage because it's real, y'all. It's real. So another huge factor in the transition between preclinical to clinical years is scheduling and the working aspect of third and fourth year of medical school. So because you are rotating through the hospitals and the clinics and essentially working basically full time in addition to studying and taking your shelf exams, you now are subject to the hours of like the doctors that work in those specialties. So I'm on OBGYN right now. And my daytime hours are 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., which means I have to wake up at 5 a.m. and I typically don't get home until 7 p.m. And then I have to find time to study because I have a shelf exam in a few weeks at the end of the rotation. Like what? When do I have time to do anything? So this is just a huge difference between this year and my first two years. But otherwise, you know, third year of medical school is great. It's definitely more up my alley and what I was here to do. Of course, you know, you still do have to study and you have to take tests and whatnot, but that's not the primary focus of what you're doing during your clinical years. So for me, it's just such a better fit. And although the hours are sometimes so sucky and I'm miserable when I'm starving, standing in the operating room and my stomach is growling but then I'm like this is a really cool surgery and I know I wouldn't have been able to do this during my first and second year so I'll take third year over first and second year any day so like I said guys stay tuned for more content coming very very soon I have a lot of great ideas and things that I want to talk about and share with you guys be sure to like this video leave me a comment below ask me any questions leave me any comments or thoughts um, let me know where you guys are at in your journey and and please, please, please hit that subscribe button right now so that you are tuned into all the latest content. All right, loves, thank you for tuning in. I am off to study and I wish you all many blessings and please stay safe and wear your masks. Mwah!